Israel-Gaza-Iran War News Live Update Houthi rebels capture American-Israeli spy ring in Yemen After capturing at least 11 UN professionals and relief workers, Yemen's Houthi rebels arrested an alleged American-Israeli spy network days later. Major General Abdul Hakim al kawani chief of the Houthis Intelligence Service, said the surveillance network began at the U.S. Embassy in Sana'a and then moved to international and U.N. agencies after the embassy closed in 2015. al kawani said the American-Israeli spy cell spied and sabotaged official and unofficial institutions for decades for the adversary. Despite not including any of the jailed U.N. officials, the Iran-aligned Houthis released films of 10 Yemenis supposedly recruited by the U.S. Embassy confessing. UN and other international bodies haven't corroborated Houthi claims. Point six of the imprisoned officials worked for the UN's human rights organization, while others worked for the Special Envoys Office, UNICEF, the World Food Program, and UNESCO. Several humanitarian agencies have reported employee detentions, although the actual number is unknown. Recently, Houthi attacks on Red Sea vessels have risen, which they say are in sympathy with Palestinians during the Israel Hamas battle in Gaza. The Houthis have also suffered financial strain and internal criticism, recently executing 44 people. Airstrikes by the U.S. have targeted the organization for months. In a series of searches, Houthi intelligence officials detained three National Democratic Institute staffers and three local human rights group employees. In response to Houthi attacks on Red Sea ships, the U.S. and U.K. have launched airstrikes. Thai Oil PLC, the country's largest oil refinery by capacity, expects global crude oil prices to remain comparable to last year as oil supply increases and Middle East geopolitical problems simmer. Last year's average crude oil price was $82 per barrel, and the refiner expects $80 to $90 this year. Thai Oil Vice President for Finance Planning Torsame Shapervat said ongoing negotiations between Israel and Iran should not disrupt oil delivery. She said the U.S. and Guyana will supply 1.25 million barrels per day of crude oil to the global market. Ms. Torsame suggested debottling the Canadian oil pipeline to improve supplies due to new oil refineries in Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Iraq. She expects a refined oil surplus in the second part of the year. Ms. Torsang expects gasoline and jet fuel travel to drive global oil consumption in the last six months of this year as the global economy recovers. European interest rate cuts have improved investment expectations for the second half, according to the firm. We anticipate global oil demand exceeding last year, she stated. Thai oil expects diesel and gasoline consumption to rise 0.4% to 69 MLD and 3.7% to 32.5 MLD this year. To 17 MLD, jet fuel consumption will rise 24%. Power plants are phasing out fuel oil to save power generation costs, reducing demand by 1.7% to 5.4 MLD. Thai oil plans the Clean Fuel Project, CFP, to begin operations in early 2025. The business intends to refine 400,000 barrels a day of fuel oil to diesel and jet fuel under the CFP, up from 280,000 barrels.